Game on. Yeah. That is sweet. Damn, I don't see no YouTube certified mechanic sticker on here, man. What's up with that? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you did see that, right? That is a 454 in there. They seem to have done it. We have three people. Yep. Three people. Three people on. Woo! What's going on guys? My name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctivate YouTube channel. Here we are. The Hutchinson Rod Run. Probably gonna run into some people we know. Hand out some flyers. Check out some sweet cars. Don't worry. We will have our devotional at the end of this video. Uh, it didn't get rained out. I don't know how. I have no idea how it didn't get rained out. But here we are. Up on Main Street now. There he is. Oh, we can walk up that way and then go back that way. Ooh. Trying to do it quick while I ain't got no music on. Second one is Doug Pearson with his 30. Today in our Jesus Calling book, it reads, oh wait, it is Sunday, October 3rd, by the way. When many things seem to be going wrong, trust me. When your life feels increasingly out of control, thank me. These are supernatural responses and they can lift you above your circumstances. If you do what comes naturally in the face of difficulties, you may fall prey to negativism. Negativism? Negativism, I think. Even a few complaints can set you on a path that is a downward spiral. By darkening your perspective and mindset, with this attitude controlling you, complaints flow more and more readily from your mouth. Each one moves you steadily down this slippery spiral. The lower you go, the faster you slide, but it is possible to apply rakes. Cry out to me in my name. Affirm your trust in me, regardless of how you feel. Thank me for everything. Th though this seems unnatural, even irrational, gradually you will begin to ascend, recovering your lost ground. You are back on ground level you can face your circumstances from a humble perspective if you choose supernatural responses this time trusting and thanking me you will experience my unfathomable peace
Oh, bro, several cars. Look, I appreciate that. A real that. blazer. Hey, the guy just won. He just got a prize, an award. And look at what we found. Again, <laughs> we ran away from them. She's got this cool blue thing in here. This is a nice work in progress here. Check it out. Hey, Josh, how you doing? Hello. Sugar time conditions. Here on Avenue A and Main Street. Check it out. Look at that. That is so cool. That is so cool. There's always a car show on Main now. But that's Don and Trey, my buddies. Alright guys, here we are. The burnout conference. This guy won in 2019 when I did my burnout competition. And uh yeah, whoops. No, they're gonna tell those people to back up. They're gonna tell everybody to back up. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. They're gonna tell you back up. Everybody is literally trying to get hit. They're gonna get in trouble in about two seconds. Like, wait for it. And then, so think about him doing his burnout. I know. Is in a second, there's gonna be filled in here. Oh my god. 
full send right there. Hell yeah, brother. Wow. <laughs> and now they're trying to throw everybody back up. sure Kyle just took this home for the burnout contest. It's yeah. Holy crap, man. Yeah, my man Those are some new tires. Oh. He's like, I don't want to use them. What do you guys think of that? <laughs> well, there we go, guys. That is the Hutchison Rod Run of 2021. And now we are going to unload our pockets. Because there were not many flyers that we got to hand out which is totally okay kind of a bummer but it's all good if you guys enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up comment your favorite vehicle down below definitely the super the burnout was pretty sick and i would have to say that the supras the old supras the originals wait not originals they're the fours i believe those yeah good good oh that music's not gonna work dang it <laughs> we'll catch you tomorrow in another daily arctic vet vlog have a great night and god bless